In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to connect an AC to DC power supply to the AC source. Before you make any connections, you should be sure to always check the data sheet of the power supply so that you know exactly what AC voltage you're applying. Now, before we also make the connection here today, we're going to verify to make sure that the wiring that we have on the AC input is actually what it should be between line, neutral, and ground. You see in a traditional AC input system where you have 120 volts, you should have a line, which is a hot wire, a neutral, which is not the hot wire, but a neutral wire, and then the ground itself, which is earth ground. In a traditional residential or light commercial environment, the line and the ground wire are actually terminated at the electrical box at that point. So, but when you're actually working with the power supply itself, the neutral wire is not an effective frame ground. It is a return wire that eventually gets terminated at the electrical panel. So we're going to check today to make sure that we identify which is the hot or line and which is the neutral and then make sure that the ground connection is actually physically connected to ground. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to verify the connections. So I've taped the uh, wiring down so that to make sure that none of the uh, terminals will touch each other and I spread them apart and I'm going to energize the, uh, the wires into a 120 volt uh, connection. I'm going to take my probes and the first thing I'm going to do is put one of the probes onto the white wire and put another probe onto the black wire and I should read 100, roughly 120 volts. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my probe, go to the ground connection, and then go to the, ground, uh, the black wire, and I could see that that's 120 volts. So I know now that that is 120 volts because at the box, this wire and this wire should be close to this, should be tied together. So when I actually hit that wire, and now take the measurement from the white to the green, you can see that I'm only reading roughly a half a volt, which tells me that I don't have any power, and this, this is not the hot wire, but this is the hot wire. All right, now that I have identified that the black is hot, which is the line, the white wire is neutral, which is the neutral, and the green wire is ground, I am going to shut the power off, verify that the this is exactly off and I'm going to make the connections to the power supply. Now the power supply as you can see is labeled L, N and ground so I'm going to unscrew some of these terminals here and then put my ring terminals my spades onto the power supply itself also, before we apply power, we make sure that those connections are nice and tight and they don't come off. And now we're ready to up put the meter on here and check the output. Now the output of this power supply shows the positive and negative here. So I'm going to put one of the wires there and then here, and that would indicate the output is the 24 volts and I'm ready to energize the power supply. As I energize the power supply, power supply should come on. And as the power supply comes on, you can see that our voltage is 24 volts. All right, so there you have it. This is the proper way to make the connections on a power supply. Always make sure that before you make any connections, you ensure that the wiring is de-energized. Make sure that the wiring is secured and always verify the data sheet to ensure that you're putting the proper connections onto the power supply itself. If you have any questions on how to connect an AC to DC power supply onto a 120 volt system or any other voltage uh, system that you have, give us a call here at TRC. We'll be happy to help you with those connections and make sure that you're on the right product for your application.